Communication is such an important piece between parents and students and teachers, and there's a new tool that can really help out with communication. It's called TeacherCal, and it's part of EduSync. So if you go to edusync.com, and I've just highlighted that, so that way it's uh, easy for you to see. And if you click here where it says TeacherCal, it gives you a little bit of information about this. I'm going to go ahead and sign in while I'm explaining it and I'm going to sign in with Google. The reason why I'm doing this is because TeacherCal is going to take my Google Calendar and my Google Drive and put them together to help me communicate with parents and students. So I'm going to click there and it's going to begin right here. So it opens to July. I'm going to go back a month and take a look at this course here. So you can see I've got my different courses up here at the top and you can also see that since this one is highlighted I've got different colors going on each week in each unit. That's what these are. So for each one it says, you know, week one, task one, and so on. This is actually sending this information to my Google Calendar. So let me show you what that looks like right here. So this is my June calendar. You can see where it says week one, task one, and so on. I actually did not add those in there. Teacher Cal added those in there for me. Okay, so those are the exact same things that you would, have, you would see here. And if I'm going to go back, there they are. Here's what happens. I click on this week one, task one, and you can see some information. I've got my instructions here. I've got my objectives. And then I can also copy and paste in my standards. Cancel those so that way we can see. We can see how long this assignment is open. I have told it to sync with Google Calendar, and then I've also told it to make it public on Google Calendar. And those two pieces are very important because if you're going to be sharing your calendar with others, which we are, then this is how they're going to be able to see that there is an assignment. Okay, and then I've also linked this document straight from my Google Drive here. So if I were to click on that, then it's going to open this document that my students are working on. Okay, so in TeacherCal, this is all teacher information. And remember that I'm looking at one course at a time on here. Now if I go to my Google Calendar, now I'm seeing all of my courses and this is how my students are going to follow things. So let's take a look at this week one task one. If we were to click on that and then for my students it would say event details over here. So I would click on that and then here's all of the information that my students will see. This is everything that I've added into TeacherCal and then here's the link for that document that my students are going to be working on. So it's very easy to set up and here's the beauty of it, okay? So if I were to go to my drive, and let's say that I'm not the most organized person, I don't do a great job of creating anything in a folder structure and so on. It's just not a priority for me. One day it will need to be a priority for you, and so TeacherCal creates this folder for you. So that way they take care of all of the organization and you don't have to worry about it. So this is going to save you time so that way you can worry more about teaching and less on organization. If I double click here on summer semester you can see here's the courses that I have and if I go into this one here my assignments there they are right there. So everything is held in a nice little place for me. So I'm going to show you really quickly how to create a course and add it to your teacher cal. So if you go right here where it says add course, I'm 
add whatever it is, and then your description can be, you know, whatever you need it to be. And then you can also attach a file here. So say that I wanted to attach my syllabus. I could do that by uploading it, by attaching the file. I can link it from my Google Drive, or I could just provide a hyperlink here. Okay, now I'll hit Save. And so now, if I go into Forms and Add-ons, I need to create a unit. And so my first unit is going to be called All About Forms. I'm going to type in a description. I'll copy and paste in my objectives. I'll actually do that later. And then my calendar color right here, remember that this is the color that it's going to be on my teacher cal, not on my Google Calendar. Okay, and then my unit dates. Let me go over here. This is going to start here and that unit will end on the 10th and then for this one I need to add a form so I'm going to click see where it says create new form I need a spell there all right so I'm going to just leave it like that close that right there I'm going to see it just saved it close this now here it is it's linked I better give this one a name I'm going to call it the same thing that I just put in there all right and then I'm going to hit save okay let me go into August so I can see that here's my unit now watch what happens whenever I go into my assignments Here's the course, all about forms, and then all of my information that I'm going to use, all of my, all of my files are going to be going in here. Okay. To give my students an assignment, I'm just going to click on the day and my unit I choose. And then I need to decide, is it an event type, you know, what kind of event type is it? I'll say it's an assignment. Okay, I'll put in my instructions, my objectives, and my standards, and then I need to say when it is due. I'm going to say it's due here. And I do want this to sync to Google Calendar, and I do want that public on Google Calendar. If I needed to attach any resources, I would. I'll hit save. So here it is. Now let's go to my Google Calendar. And there is creating a form. So this is something that can really help you out a lot and keep things nice and organized for you. Uh, they are making constant updates with this. So be sure that you keep an eye on it and see how much it can help you with organization, communication, and structure in your classroom to save you time for other things.